A research group in Jacksonville is doing its part to help develop a vaccine for coronavirus. The Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research is part of a handful of private research entities chosen for the trials. Entering phase three requires hundreds of volunteers. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joining us live outside the facility. And Eric, what type of people are needed for this last phase of the research? Well, Kent, researchers here at the center are looking for at least 500 people to volunteer, and they would prefer people who are at higher risk of contracting COVID-19. Here at the Jacksonville Center of Clinical Trials, Dr. Michael Corrin and his team are working on two different COVID-19 vaccine studies, one for pharmaceutical company Pfizer and the other for biotechnology company Moderna. And we are one of approximately 90 sites in the U.S. that are involved in these trials. Corn and his team have now entered phase three of their research, which now requires at least 500 volunteers from Jacksonville. They would prefer volunteers who are on the front line of COVID-19 and are at high risk of contracting the virus. People who are health care providers are wonderful participants in this type of program. They are being exposed to COVID-19 day to day. People who work as store clerks and are face to face with customers every day are also considered great candidates for this study. Dr. Corrin also says minorities would make great volunteers given the fact that COVID-19 has severely impacted African Americans and Hispanics. We will prioritize the highest risk group of patients, but we're looking for a broad type of a population. Now, this is the room where the vaccine is prepared before it's administered. But before doses of the vaccine are administered, volunteers are evaluated as a safety precaution. If you have a serious immune problem, we're not going to put you to the study. If you're on medication, that we think put you at risk for complications, we're not going to put you to the study. If there's something in your medical history that is of concern, we're not going to put you to the study. Volunteers are monitored via phone calls, electronic devices, and face-to-face -face visits for the first 28 days. And then at day 28 for both programs, you get a second dose of the vaccine to make sure that you're immune to COVID-19. Now, as a disclaimer, not every volunteer will get the vaccine. Some volunteers will get a placebo. Also, Dr. Corrine says uh, the vaccine is not a live sample. In fact, uh, it is merely an engineered molecule that forces the body to create an immune response. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.